Well, how do there, people in the viewer versus I, Captain Stephen? Today, chums, I've got you my bestest tips to get you through this expedition. Now, this expedition is a pretty tough one. We have got six weeks to do it. It is a permadeath save, though, and it is going to throw you back to the start a fair few times. But you can see here, I completed this in eight hours, and I wasn't really even trying. So hopefully you guys, with some of these tips, you're going to be able to do the same, if not better. You probably could do better without these tips, to be fair. But here we go. Here are my top five. Mm, couple of tips. I don't even know how many there are. I didn't count them before I'd done the video. Right, anyhow, here we go. So this is Expedition Leviathan. This is Expedition 7. And yeah, this is the permadeath one. I don't know whether we're going to have more of these. I kind of hope we do. kind of hope we don't. <laughs> I hope they put in a couple in between just to space it out a little. However, my first tip for you is to get the Hermetic Seal to get you to take off the planet. You need to actually die to initiate that badge. It's a scripted death. So don't worry, it's not going to count against you or anything. But before you've done anything and unlocked any progress, just top yourself. So here you go. I just flew up into the air above a cave, fall into the cave dead dilly dead and i'm going to be popping a badge for that there we go so we go it's all about this loop and this death count and all that sort of shenanigans but when i load back in you will see i get myself a badge so it puts you at this loading screen where you load up your save now some people have had duplicates added into their save list apparently if you delete that duplicate it also deletes your other save so just don't delete the duplicate because it could delete the save i'm hoping hello games put a fix out for it and get rid of those duplicates automatically or clean up your file for you okay right so now we should get that badge pop there it is iterate repeat rose from the ashes badge now when you pop this badge you're going to get the blueprint for the hermetic seal but more importantly you're going to get the base computer plans why is that important well every single time you die you lose all of your installed tech all of your gain slots all your nanites all your units all your progress all your milestones all your badges everything the only thing that doesn't get deleted are your base computers and your bases so put down bases at all the key points throughout your expedition, even if it's a little wooden shed or anything, just or even if it's a base computer, as long as you've claimed it, it's going to appear in your base directory from the Nexus. And you can call in the Nexus right at the start of play. So you can then jump straight back to where you want to go. And what I would suggest you do is probably do some of the harder ones first, the ones that you know are going to die, like grabbing all the eggs. Make sure you put a base at one of those abandoned buildings so you can go grab all your eggs, that sort of stuff. I've got one of the, the crashed freighter because that was a pain in the ass to find that crashed freighter so i put a base there as well i've also got one in a pirate area of space to do the smuggling run i've got one in an extreme sentinel weld so i can kill all the sentinels and it's at a base that's got cover so make sure you strategically place bases and i've got them at all the different iteration points the anchor planets the rendezvous another thing as soon as you start playing okay let me just bring up the actual expedition just to show you look i haven't even taken off no badges popped okay you can call in your freighter right from the word go. Now, inside of this mode, you've not got as much sort of storage and the stacks of items don't stack to the same amount inside of your actual inventory space. But knowing that you can call in a free freighter that you don't have to claim, that you can just fly into and drop a load of crud off there, just keep filling that full of all the stuff that you don't need at current time. You often get a lot of modules that you don't really need. Put them in there until you need them, until you've got the Exocraft or whatever you want to install them in. Just put them inside your freighter for safekeeping. Awesome little tip. Another tip on planets if you're looking for caves or looking for any oxygen or anything like that. Turn off network settings and you can use camera mode and it actually pauses the game. You're not going to take any more damage. You can even turn it into night mode to see the flowers gl glowing on the planet. So there's orange is sodium red is for your oxygen it makes it so much easier to use camera mode and it pauses the game with multiplayer off you will be given an exomech at some stage as well people now when you get inside the exomech it's the only exocraft that negates all the extreme weather events now a lot of these planets are very sort of mountainous and got extreme weather if you're using your jetpack it's going to annihilate your um health your actual uh life support and also the hazard protection is going to go down because all these planets are super dangerous. So yeah, use your Exomech. You get it fairly early on as a reward. I used it throughout of this and it made it so much easier. Now, once you have completed this expedition, you should get awarded a frigate. At the moment, that is broken. There is a fix coming in game fairly soon to get that fixed. Don't you worry. But that's all my tips for you. Hopefully, the spoiler-free tips. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. 
Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.